let's move on and talk trade and other stuff because here's the thing. For the better part of eight years after the financial crisis, it was we need policies to help us grow. It looks like everything's kind of humming pretty well. Have we flipped it, Bob, to where we are in a situation where it's don't screw stuff up? And when we hear stuff about trade and taxes and border adjustments, aren't we in a situation where maybe we should just let the economy continue to roll on and that Congress or the president or whoever may end up doing more harm than good? Well, I think this border adjustment tax business makes absolutely no sense, logically or economically. Well, it's probably DOA why anyway. Are you, why, why, Larry, why, why increase effective uh, costs of imports for consumers and, and, make, and give, uh, give companies a big benefit with regard to exports when, in fact, what that really means is consumers pay more and companies this are even no more profitable? This is no fun, Secretary Reich. This is cable, and you two are going to agree, and we right. don't allow agreement. I just cable, want to okay? say my friend of over 30 years, Robert Reich is completely correct on this Write border this adjustment down. tax. Write this down. Completely correct. Well, Thanks, now Brian. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to have to rethink. Wait a minute. I have to rethink my position. Yes, I, now. I also want to say, down through the years, Robert Reich has been pretty good free trader. So I got to give my, if I had a Tell hat, I would Tell us what you think, Larry, away. then, about this idea that they want to change the way the trade deficit is measured. This is not good. This is not good. Now, I, I just looked at it. I looked at the Wall Street Journal story. I haven't seen the internal talking points. This is not good. Why mess around with that stuff? It's not going to get through anyway. I think they this think is, it this, makes this it look very, more authentic Larry, as to what's is, being manufactured is, in the United it, States. It, That's it the makes, rationale. It, it makes them look like they're cooking the books. It makes them of look like they're, they're fixing the, books. the numbers. And of course I, I don't, they're fixing the numbers. I, I know, and you're probably right, and I don't like that. But here's, the, here's my bigger problem with this. President Trump and at least some of his top guys do not understand why trade deficits are not a measure of the economy. If you're going to go after trade deficits, which is what they want, they want lower deficit, then you're going after capital investment inflows. You see, if people are pouring capital into the United States because our foreign uh, countries, uh, foreign countries, foreign, foreign, foreign individuals, or the whole nine yards, uh, yeah, they're buying our stocks, they're buying our bonds, they're also creating factories, they're also create, building construction, they're increasing our income, they're creating jobs. In other words, if you want to crush trade deficits, then you're saying I'm against investment capital inflows. And that's wrong. Because so, the two Larry, are the twin is, sides. I, I, I'm Why not gonna... is it that the president doesn't get that? Somebody's got to sit with him and un walk him through this. Why are you moment... doing that, Larry? Why aren't you sitting down and walking him through well, it? Who's, I... he, who's he listening to if he's not listening to you? I mean, where is he getting his economic advice? Because this, well, this, is this is crazy stuff that, that is coming out of the White House. Well, right we now. talked about it during the campaign, during the summer and fall. We talked about it. We had our agreements and disagreements on this. Right now, I am concerned that among his you know, top senior staff, there's nobody in there that either A, wants to disagree with the president, or B, wants to walk through a correct analysis. That's probably. Well, that's pretty dangerous. I, that is, strikes me, that it, strikes it me as dangerous it for economic me. policy. See, he's got it right on tax cuts. He's got it right on deregulation. He's got it right on Obamacare. Well, I disagree with you on that. I know you do. But, 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 but let's, talk, trade, let's talk about, but, but trade, let's talk about the trade. Flows, and, and the person who seems to have his ear on trade is Peter Navarro. Well, good Lord. Peter is an <laughs> old friend of mine, but um, I've, you know, we've you disagreed disagree. for a very, yeah. very, very long can, time. Can look, I? Look, 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 at, can I just say, seems to have the same one, affection one other for the aspect. media as his boss, well, by the way. Well, that's <laughs> a very popular Street, feeling. In, we had a little girl white house, but, you know, one well, other, just, uh, Somebody's got to walk him through this and I, make him understand. But if nobody, wait a minute. You know, this is, Larry, this is part of a much larger problem that I am, frankly, concerned about. Because if he's not getting good economic advice, if nobody is walking him through any of this, uh, also on foreign policy, he doesn't seem to have anybody walking him through any of this. I mean, he is even changing data. I mean, with regard to economic data, we just talked about how they want to change the trade data. They're also putting gag they, orders they in government. Change the they're changing all sorts of. They're changing all sorts of yep. metrics and all sorts of calculations. Well, I think, I, and nobody is telling him the guys, truth. Well, and no, then no, he's no, getting data that is all yeah, 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 pay the bills. Robert, we got to He's got very. He's got a terrific foreign policy team right now, and I will just. Just add to this to our panel. I think Gary Cohn is going to prove to be much more of a free trader with Steve Mnuchin, who understands capital inflows. That's my hope. Gentlemen, by good the way, to have you here. My phone is always available for calls. Uh, <laughs> well, mine is too. Mine is too. I want, I'm sure I want the Trump, Trump administration to know. They can call me.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.